Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on multilingual NLP. Um, in the last video, we completed implementation of uh, multilingual NER and in this video, we will uh, learn like how we can do zero short multilingual transfer for named integer recognition. Okay, so let us see uh, uh, what data set we can use. So we will be using this uh, multilingual wiki data, which is available at this GitHub repository. So let us go there. So we can simply open it here. It is already open. And uh, simply you can go here in this link. I will add uh, these in video description so you can directly go there. And here you can see like it is available in many languages. You simply uh, download. It is actually in 218 languages that you can look at. So uh, I downloaded it for English and German and I already processed them. So the actual format of the data is something like this. So let us look at that. So if you open the raw data, it looks something like this. So it is language and then a token and then the uh, annotation. Okay. So I already processed them to be uh, to be compatible with the current code. So uh, it looks something like this. I already uh, added the code and I will share the link as well uh, in the video description. So you can download any particular language from uh, here and simply pass it through, uh, simply unzip it, of course, and then pass it through this uh, script preprocessor coinal to CSV wiki data. It will convert this into a required format, which is like this. And you can directly use it uh, with the script that we are uh, going to modify it. Okay. So let us dive in and update the code to use the new wiki data. So first we will train the model on English and test on English. And then we will train the model on English and test it for German test set. Okay. So that will be like a zero short multilingual transfer for uh, named entry recognition because we are training on only English data. And we will be uh, 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 running the NER for German. Okay. So we'll see like how good or bad it performs. Okay. So let us uh, load the data for Wikipedia. So we can simply say data and then we have Wiki NER. And we can simply say English and we simply load this um, uh, train dot uh, CSV. Okay. And the data set is kind of quite uh, big. So we will simply add like, let us say we use 5,000 samples and the same thing we will do for this as well. And also let us add here one more condition because the data set is quite noisy. So it has the sample like uh, which are really big in that sense. So we will simply add one condition here that will say if the length of the text is less than say 80 then only uh, we will consider it for training otherwise we will discard it and for uh, testing we need to uh, load it uh, again okay so we will simply remove this here because we already um kept it above and let us reload the test data okay so we can simply say test okay and we will simply say, so this is also quite big. So we will uh, use a part of it. So let us say, let us call it test sentences and test labels. Okay. And let us use like say 1000 samples of for testing. And for labels, we need to run this split for this as well because uh, it is still a simple string here. Okay. So let us do that as well. Also, we need to add here uh, a separator because uh, um, the separator is not uh, the default one, which is comma. Here we are using um, slash t. So we will use uh, x slash t simply. Okay, and the same thing we need to do for test as well. So, 
Let's do that. Now let us train the model and see like how well it works for English. And then we will of course test it for German as well. Okay, so let us train it. So it has ignored one sample which was more than 180 uh, 80 words and then it is now converting it into word embeddings okay Okay, so the training completed and it also gave us accuracy which is 77% for English and let us now simply change it to test on German let us say. So we will train on English data and test on German. So let us see that how good it works. So let us retrain and check the accuracy. Okay, the training completed and it performs even better for zero sort multilingual transfer in that sense. You can see here earlier it was 77%, whereas for German it performs 84%, which is better than that. Also, here I said it incorrectly, like uh, the other model is also multilingual, so you can use that as well. So instead of using that, you can train on this and uh, uh, it will work uh, okay. Okay, so in this video, we will stop here. For the next video, we will see like whether we want to go ahead in uh, multilingual NLP, like we will uh, go further in sequence to sequence model, or we will try to uh, uh, learn a bit more about PyTorch basics, and then uh, we will again pick up this uh, multilingual NLP topic. So we will see that what uh, you guys uh, prefer or suggest to do. And uh, Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. See you in the next.